So you've been using Python packages for a while, right? You import stuff, call functions, and life's good. But then you hear about something called namespace packages, and suddenly things don't seem so simple anymore. Well, don't worry, because today we're breaking it down in the simplest way possible. No jargon, just straight up understanding. First, let's talk about the regular package. This is the one you probably already know. A regular package is basically just a directory with a simple init.py file. That file is what makes Python recognize the directory as a package. Without it, Python won't treat it as a package. It just remains a plain old folder. You can put code inside init.py file, like setting up some variables, running some logic when the package is imported, or even preloading some modules. All right, now here's where things get a little different. Namespace packages don't need init.py file. They just don't. See, no init.py file here in the directory anywhere. And yet, Python still treats this as a package. Why? It's because namespace packages are kind of like a loose collection of modules that Python stitches together at runtime. This means different parts of the package can be spread across multiple locations. Okay, now let's dig into how Python actually sees these packages under the hood. For a regular package, if we check its path attribute, it looks like this. That's a simple list. It tells Python that this package lives right here in this one directory. Now, let's check a namespace package, but before that, we must let Python know where to look for that package. And after that, we can check the package's path attribute. Whoa, see that? Multiple paths. That's because Python doesn't expect a single location for a namespace package. It gathers all matching directories and combines them dynamically. All right, so why does this whole difference even matter? Namespace packages are great for splitting a package across multiple locations. Let's say a company has multiple teams working on different aspects of a product, such as core functionality, plugins, and extensions. Using namespace packages, the code for each aspect can be stored in separate repositories and installed independently while still being accessible under the same top-level package. Regular packages are more self-contained. They don't rely on Python dynamically merging folders. They're predictable, and they work the same way across all Python versions. That's it. If this video cleared things up for you, hit that like button, and if you're still confused, drop a comment. See you in the next one.